Hi guys and welcome to this unboxing video of the sidekicks from my Mermaids of the Earth collection. I am so excited to see these and I hope you are as well. So um, yeah, without me rambling on, let's get started and look at how these look. So in July this year I did a Kickstarter project called Mermaids of the Earth and the campaign um, ended up funding quite a lot of designs which is really exciting and they're all coming out of production now. So today I've actually received the sidekick pins from that collection and I'm so excited to unbox them with you, I can't wait. So I've already taken them out of the actual cardboard boxes because they had so much tape on them. I struggled for ages just kind of opening them. So I figured, you know what, you know, let's put them into some, um, I guess, giant Tupperwares <laughs> or something. So yeah, today we have the sidekicks to unbox. The mermaids are on their way. They're taking a bit longer because there are so many of them. So I've just zoomed out a bit so you guys can see a bit better. So I've put most of the pins in uh, these kind of, <laughs> in these kinds of ugh, um, boxes, storage boxes. I just thought it would be easier and, you know, the sound will be a bit better if we don't if we don't have a bunch of card to cut through. <sighs> All the things we're gonna do today, it's gonna be exciting. So I have these guys, they all came in three uh, cardboard boxes and they filled up two storage thingies and, and also this kind of thing here. So I think we should start with the gray one and I'll jump a bit back so you guys can see a bit better. Uh, so yeah, let's start with this, this uh, gray one. We got some uh, nudie branks to start with, the Jeruna Funebris. And you know what, I'm gonna bring the camera down so you guys can actually see the pins instead of just my, my head. <laughs> and then we'll get started. So I actually think this is um, maybe a good view to, to kind of let you guys see uh, the pins. So the first ones we've got to start with, the first ones we've got to start with are the Jeruna Funebris pins. So this is the type of nudibranchs and they have rainbow metal plating and they also have um, glow-in-the-dark on them. So that's quite exciting. Let's see? Our very first one. Now these do have a teeny tiny hint of uh, green in them, that's because they glow in the dark. So the green glow in the dark powder leaves a tiny hint of green, but it's not that, it's not too obvious in a way. Now let's see here. There we go. Can you guys... There she is! Ooh. Hello! Wait, let me take up. So she has a um, she has a purple heart backer. I tried to pick colors that really went with the designs, and because her design is mainly uh, white with purple and a bit of red, I thought that the the purple one would work nicely. So let's see. There she is. Very cool. So she was the uh, the most popular sidekick in the entire campaign. So there are quite a lot of her in, in here. Now let's see what we have next. Just pop you back in that pocket. Another bag of her. And another one. Next up we have the Hammerhead Sharks. Uh, I don't know if this is A, B or C because we have three different Hammerhead Sharks. But yeah. Oh, I have to say I love how the colors came out on these. So the Hammerhead Sharks have uh, pink heartbackers. 
I was going to go for the teal ones, but I just thought that the pink one gave such a nice contrast to that teal. So I decided to go for pink ones for this guy. Ah, oh, look at him. What? There we are. Yeah, he just looks gorgeous, I think. Next up, we have Ola's. Yeah. These ones were quite popular as well, so I have quite a few hammerheads. Let's do. Let's do another hammerhead. Ah, oh, hello. Let's go. Look at that! Oh, I am so happy with how the hammerheads are turning out. Wow. And the, uh, the Yorona Fenebris as well. I mean, she looks beautiful. So far, I'm so happy with these. I also always find it to be a very um, a good sign when the first ones you pick out of the bag are A-grades. Or even if they're not pure A-grades, but you know, if they don't have too many flaws, and that's quite exciting. Yes! A narwhal. Hello. So this is the Icy Edition narwhal. They are silver plated. Let's see? Yeah. And they have teal heartbackers. So I initially planned to only have one uh, one back post on these, but I think during production my manufacturer must have gone with two uh, because they, I mean, obviously they're more experienced than me. So they could probably tell that having only one would be problematic and so they must have added a second one. I work with, I work with um, three manufacturers at the moment and all three of them have been so wonderful uh, so I'm, I'm really happy about that let's see I wonder if we have more hammerheads in here no okay yes a melanoid Axolotl. I don't know why I scream out yes every time, but it's just, I get so excited. Okay, let's see. So the Melanoid Axolotl has a lot of purple on it, and so they got... Let's see. It would be nice if you guys could actually see it. <laughs> So the melanoid axolotls have a lot of purple on them, so they got purple heartbackers. And look at that! Let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. So the very first melanoid axolotl pin. We have eight more axolotls to go. Um, let's see. Ooh, where did I put that? Okay, next up. The rose gold plated white albino axolotl. So in this campaign I had um, three axolotl designs and each design came in three uh, variations. So we had the melanoid that we just saw, and this is the white albino one, who comes with pink hearts. And we also have a golden axolotl coming up. Hello. 
So these guys are rose gold plated and the other ones are gold plated. Ah, we have another axolotl. These are these are melanoid axolotls as well. See there? Oh, look at that happy girl. There we go. Oh, she's so cute. I'm so happy with these. Um, I mean, so far, every single one we've opened has looked, you know, according to the, the colors they were supposed to have. Um, I think I think they look perfect. And so, I mean, which is good. Uh, <laughs> I have had moments before um, with opening pins where the colors have just not looked anything like it, uh, like the initial design. And so it's always really fun to see uh, that that the designs come out according to what you wanted them to be. Next up, we got a small bag of um, great white sharks. So I have um, ordered quite a lot of these. This is probably just a small bag of extra so they couldn't fit in the other ones. But this was a very popular one. Um, and these guys, these guys have two pinbackers with teal hearts. I think when I was ordering these I felt like the pink didn't go with this shark shade whereas it did go very well with the the hammerhead kind of teal shade. Can you guys see that properly? Oh look! Oh I love that. Let me take off the backers. There we go. So all the sharks are silver plated. Oh, and I should have said all of these are hard enamel except for the rainbow metal ones. Rainbow metal pins cannot be made in hard enamel, unfortunately. Um, so those are soft enamel. To be honest, I love soft enamel, <laughs> but I also like hard enamel. So let's see. Um, next up. A Dumbo octopus. Hello. <laughs> see. There we go. So that um oh, let's see. This pink is actually a lot stronger uh, in real life. It's coming off on camera as almost, you know, non-existent. I wonder if I push it a bit closer. I think that's just the camera lights because I have a light set up here. Uh, I think that's just kind of washing it away. Uh, but it's quite a strong, almost peachy pink. Not dark, but you know. <laughs> Hello. And she has a pink heart backer. And she's gold plated. Now let's see who's next. Oh yes, so these ones. Uh, I wasn't quite meeting my minimum quota for the clownfish pins. So I decided to also have uh, an additional color variation made. Uh, so this is also a type of clownfish. I think it's called a snowflake clownfish. There we go. There's quite a funny thing with, with an enemy uh, clownfish in that. There's one that's uh, mainly black with a bit of white on it and that's called the snowflake clownfish I think. And then there's one that's white with a bit of black on it and that's called the, the storm clownfish I think. Something like that. So these ones There we go. <laughs> and 
and they have black hearts on the back. Now let's keep you out for a bit. Next clownfish. Let's see. Here we are. And these guys also have black hearts on the back. They're silver plated. Oh yes, and then the final melanoid axolotl variation. So these guys Uh, these were the most popular of the axolotl designs, the melanoid, uh, there we go, the gold-plated melanoid, just wiping that off a bit. The problem when you use, um, I never use pure black um, in my pins, I like to uh, use a slightly uh, dark blue, but to me, I mean, when I look at the pins, it looks completely, uh, it looks like a pure black. And the reason why I don't use a pure black uh, is because it, the second you get any kind of scratch on it, it just shows really uh, well. So I use one shade, it's almost like a very dark charcoal. <laughs> oh, I love her. Happy girl. <laughs> Go. So she was the most popular uh, axolotl design and we got another of the white albino axolotls this one is rose gold plated it's proper rose gold not the cheap stuff <laughs> oh look at her and she's got a pink heart backer and they also got my logo under here all of them and the logo came out really sharp. I've sometimes had logos come out um, kind of crap, to be honest. Crap and blobby. Okay, and now the final axolotl type, which is a golden axolotl. And these guys are, of course, gold-plated. All the golden axolotls, there are three uh, variations. All of them have orange uh, rubber heart clutches, I guess they're called clutches. And here she is. Again, the colors um, are coming out really washed out. I, I'm thinking I might have to shift these lights a bit. So I'm having a bit of trouble actually showing you guys how vibrant these colors are. They're coming off quite washed out uh, in the video. But I'll see if I can do a bit of filming after we finish unboxing these. And hopefully you'll be able to see just how nice and vibrant these are. And yeah, orange, orange backer. Now, let's see what we have next. So that's another gold-plated golden axolotl. And actually, the colors are coming off uh, kind of better here than when I was showing them earlier. Let's see there. Ew. Thank you guys for watching this, by the way. I really like um, kind of unboxing stuff together with both the Kickstarter backers and, you know, just other um, enamel pin enthusiasts, if you will, or art enthusiasts, enthusiasts in general. It's so much more fun than just kind of me sitting in a corner by myself <laughs> and unboxing them. He's got these little heart details. And the final axolotl in this, I was going to say in this Mermaids of the Earth collection, but we still have the axolotl mermaids to come. But of the sidekicks, These are the final sidekicks in, um, you know, axolotl form. There we are. Another happy girl. <laughs> and of course, orange uh, butterfly, no butterfly, orange heartbacker. Yeah, so, okay guys, we did our very first box. We opened all of them. I mean, look. Look at all of those! I think we did pretty good. So now we have two other boxes to open. Now let's see here. So next up we got, these are so heavy. Uh, we got this kind of <laughs> big bulk of thing. So I'm gonna point the camera back down again in a second so you guys can uh, see, but let's, let's stick it up now. Um, 
We've already seen some narwhals, so let's start with the classic edition narwhal, which looks like this. Look at her. Well, I really like how those shades of grey turned out. I find greys kind of tricky to work with, um, anything kind of monochrome, because I just find that they always turn out slightly darker than the swatches are. I mean, I know that happens to a lot of colours, but I find it with greys in particular. Um, so I went with slightly lighter swatches in the, in the, um, in the files than I would have normally picked in a way, and they turned out great, so I'm really happy about that. Yes, next up we have Icy Seahorses. Can you guys see? So this is the one based on the Denise Pygmy Hippo and I had two editions. So there are the Icy uh, Silver Plated editions, which are these ones. So precious. I think so far these ones are my favorites and, and to be honest, seahorses were my favorites during the campaign as well. They were by far not the most popular, but I really, I, I really like the designs and I really like how they turned out. I always find that, that it's like that. The, uh, the most popular designs are not usually my favorites, which is good because that means that a lot of other people like them. <laughs> ah, the hedgehog seahorse. Hedgehog seahorses. Icy editions. Oh, I'm just loving how those blues and grays turned out. There we go. Oh, so pretty. And all of the ICC horses have teal heartbackers. Ideally, I would have wanted uh, baby blue heartbackers for them, but there is no such thing. <laughs> At least not in my manufacturer's inventory. Um, so we went with the teal ones, which I also really love. The second most popular, second or third most popular um, psychic from the entire campaign was the rainbow plated mantis shrimp. Go! Ah! Now, the mantis shrimp, let me just come up here. Here he is. Uh, the mantis shrimp was the favorite in the campaign. I did not expect that, I have to say. Because I, I really like this design and usually that means that <laughs> most people don't. Um, so that was a really fun surprise. Oh, he's so full of color. And you know, I didn't know what a mantis shrimp was until when I was doing the Mermaids of the Earth. So mantis shrimp come with star rubber backers, two of them. I love how the back logo looks as well with uh, with rainbow metal. It's just. If you, if you backed for these, or if you um, ever buy kind of rainbow metal pins, I highly recommend checking out the back of the pins uh, because they just look so cool. You can see kind of how the, uh, how the anodized metal has been, I don't know if they spray it on or what they do, but it's always so cool how it forms around the, the posts, pin backers posts. <laughs> Here is our mantis shrimp. Oh, I love that. I'm really happy with the fact that although this is soft enamel, um, it doesn't look too deep. Often kind of, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't set as a flat surface. So often people will put on epoxy to, to make it appear more like hard enamel pins. I, I don't like using epoxy because it sometimes uh, can form bubbles and trap dirt and stuff under. And I... I wouldn't like to send out pins that had that stuff in it unless I sold them as seconds. So I decided to not use epoxy. Hello. <laughs> I do use epoxy for other types of soft enamel pins, but I don't tend to use them for rainbow. Uh, there we go. Put the backers back on. Oh, guys, I can't wait to send you these, those of you who backed for them. All of the, the different sidekicks. Um, okay, say bye. So next up, let's do another shrimp. We have the rosy harlequin shrimp. The harlequin harlequin shrimp is one of my favorite animals. I, I love... Usually when an animal is named something with harlequin, you just know that it's gonna have this beautifully spotted surface with, you know, big patches in different colors. It's so pretty. Anyways, so 
rosy harlequin shrimp. These are rose gold plated. They have purple heart backers. I yeah, so the the options I had for these were, you know, purple or pink or red. I felt that the red clashed too much and I felt like the pink was a bit too pastel-y whereas these are quite dark. So I decided to go for purple. Now, let's see you. The very first rosy harlequin shrimp to be on right. Oh, look at him. <laughs> I love I love shrimp, I have to say. I find them to be incredible and adorable creatures. Hello. <laughs> There's one more shrimp and it's the icy harlequin shrimp, so I wanted to get them all together. And here they are. Oh, hello. I love this color variation, I have to say. The Harlequin shrimp uh, were not very popular in the Kickstarter and my minimum order quantity for each of these is 50. So I will have quite a lot of these um, in the shop. I'm gonna keep two for myself because I really want them to, to have them kind of as a, a color things. I'm also making some chains uh, to kind of sell them as sets. I'm not sure if that will work for these guys, but I think some of the narwhals will. But yeah, look at this. Oh yes, and I forgot to say, they have, I think you saw it already, but they have kind of these. They have teal backers as well. Sorry, that wasn't focusing. Um, got some more mantis shrimps. Um, we've already seen those. Okay. I see sea slugs. So earlier we saw the Yuruna funebra sea, uh, sea slug, sea slug, and and now we have the other two. So there were three sea slugs um, in the campaign. Let's start with this one. So this um oh I can't pronounce it Costiella. <laughs> These are nicknamed sea sheep because they they eat, uh, they graze all day on seaweed and they eat so much seaweed that they turn green and their heads almost look like a cartoon head of a sheep. Uh, so it's quite cute. There we are. I'm already loving the colors on those. There's a plane passing us outside. <laughs> I I have to say I love um, I love tiny pins very much. Now these ones do have so all the sea slugs um, have a bit of a powdery surface almost, and that's because the enamel also has glow in the dark uh, powder in it. The um, the one we're gonna open next, I think only has a hint of glow in the dark uh, because that has, it has blue glow in the dark, which isn't as strong. Um, and these guys have green glow in the dark. These guys I'm talking about. And Yuruna Fenebris, they have green glow in the dark. And so that's, it's really, really vibrant and strong. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look at the others next. Next up, the final sea slug, a nudie brand. So most of the, if you were part of the Mermaids of the Earth Kickstarter, then you you would have seen that most of the of these pins were put together in sets of either two or three. There you go. I'm very curious to see how um, how this glow in the dark will be. I know it's going to be weaker than the green ones, um, but you can tell that it's there because the surface of these again are quite powdery. And if I if I do that, you can see that. Um, the black areas that don't have the glow in the dark are a lot more reflective than uh, the blue ones which have glow in the dark in them. <laughs> um, you can see that the black areas are a lot more reflective than the, um, the blue areas. That is because the blue areas have glow in the dark powder in them. And um, that is because the blue areas have glow in the dark powder in them. So that, that gives them a powdery surface, which makes them less uh, reflective in a way. Oh, I love that rainbow metal though. It's difficult to see it sometimes when you're looking at all the colors because the camera will kind of focus in on the, the bigger areas, I think. Uh, but if you look at it on the back, oh, and when you see it in person as well, I mean, 
if I do this. Yeah, that's rainbowy. Now, let's move on to jellyfish. And there we are. Oh, not my face. There he is. So uh, this campaign is actually the first campaign where I've had uh, screen printed details on any of my pins. So I was quite excited about that. And if you can see up close, this jellyfish has uh, screen printed white details on his head. Uh, the blue jellyfish, icy jellyfish has a teal background. I think these will be perfect for that thing I was talking about with setting up kind of uh, collar chains. Are they called collar chains? If you know the actual term for that, that piece of jewelry, that kind of, you know, you have two pins uh, connected by a chain. If you know the actual name of that piece of jewelry, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to know what to call them <laughs> other than, you know, collar chains, unless that's what they're called. Who knows? The icy jellyfish has a pink brother, sister, brother, anything. Um, so the uh, rosy jellyfish, has a pink heartbacker which goes with her <laughs> pink color palette so i'm gonna focus in there she is let's see them both together again it's the design that i really liked and so i wasn't sure um look at these oh they make a cute kind of color set i think <laughs> Oh, we're already halfway through um, the first box. No, the second box, that's cool. And now we have some sea turtles to look at. So in Mermaids of the Earth, I had two types of sea turtles. It was the green, sorry, the green sea turtle and the hawksbill sea turtle. So now here we have the, um, the green sea turtles first. The sea turtles were quite popular. The green ones, I think, were a lot more popular than the hawksbill ones. Uh, so these are, the green ones are, you can't really see it on the camera light, but the green ones are gold plated. I'm looking at it in the camera now and it almost looks more silvery, but these ones are gold plated. And they have their green, green rubber clutches. Uh, green, green rubber clutches. Oh, there's so many. So I have quite a lot of these. Uh, most of them are going out to rewards, but the rest will be up in the shop after. There we go for green sea turtle number two. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Bags are falling. Wait, so these look quite similar, so let's look at them together. There we go. So same color palette, same rubber backers. Uh, two different sea turtles, and they also have a third one, which is more uh, distinguishable. Now, in this box, the, the third green sea turtle isn't actually in this box, I'm guessing it would be in the next one. Uh, so, let's do a hawksbill sea turtle. This is the other variation uh, of the sea turtles. And they are rose gold plated. And here he is! So he has a lovely rose gold plating. Next up, the clownfish again. These are the ones I mentioned earlier. I didn't meet my, uh, my, minimum, um, my minimum order quantity uh, for the clownfish, so I ordered in a second variation. Hello! I wanna, I want to um, paint some maybe pin banners as kind of fish tanks or something. These guys have black heart backers, and then we have these orange clownfish, the Nemo's. I decided to do two variations. Um, so let's see here. So the orange clownfish are gold plated and they have orange, kind of coral orange uh, heart backers. I keep saying that for every design, but I am genuinely very excited about how all these turned out. It's such a great feeling when, when there's no, you know, instant need to panic. <laughs> so that's cool. 
Ah, okay, so we're moving on to whale sharks. Here we are. And these, um, as I said with the hammerhead, I felt like the pink heartbackers matched better than the teal ones. So I gave all the whale sharks pink uh, heartbackers as, as well. I did consider doing that for the for the great white, but I didn't feel like their, their flesh tone really um, looked good with it. So I went with the teal one for them instead. Next up, probably the most popular whale shark. There we go. And I don't know if you can see, but these have um, white screen printed dots. So the screen printed white is not as strong as the white that's a complete filling. That's because the um, they're not, you know, they don't have as thick of a layer. Uh, but oh, they're cool. Um, I will do a little, uh, a little. I'll do a little close up video after to show you guys because I don't think that came across uh, too well. But wow, I love how these turned out. I am so excited about these. Ah, and the third whale shark. These guys also have screen printed details. So this one has a bit of a chip in him. I'm not sure if you can see it, but he will be um, listed as a seconds or sent out as a seconds. But you can see the dots a lot better on him. Okay, next up, uh, we have another axolotl. The, let's see. Another white albino axolotl. I can't remember if we already looked at these or not. I know we looked at uh, the other white albino axolotls, I think. But let's have a look just in case. Look at her. So she is rose gold plated again. Go. Okay, so <laughs> next up we got another icy narwhal. <laughs> Hi there. And the narwhals of course have the uh, the teal heartbackers. Okay, so now we're getting to the rosy head. No, wait. I see another narwhal, so let's do that first. I just thought they were, they would collide a bit with the rose gold. So I decided to go for gold plating instead on these. Oh, I love those colors. <laughs> I'm always a fan of the uh, the pink variation, purple, pink, that kind of aesthetic. Um, okay, and now we are moving on to seahorses. We saw the icy seahorses, so let's have a look at the rosy ones. There we go. So this is the rosy hedgehog seahorse. There we are. And they put my uh, my back logo upside down on this one, but I don't know if you guys can see. But I don't really mind, so it's supposed to be this way, but I guess if you flick it like this, <laughs> you can make it work. But yeah. Next up we have the Denise's Pygmy Hippo uh, Rosy Seahorse. I keep looking at the bag as if that's gonna have a title, it doesn't. <laughs> it's just that I pick, I sometimes pick animals with quite complicated names because I like that. But then when I'm talking about them, I forget what they're actually called. One backer in pink. And she looks like this. Oh, so cute. Next up, we have a great white shark so all of the sharks have this kind of uh smiling seen from kind of what would you say the front <laughs> so this is the great white edition of that and there he is so lovely and tiny look at those teeny tiny wrinkle detail wrinkles gill details <laughs> We only have one more bag in this box, and then we're on to the very last one. So next up we have another Hawksbill Sea Turtle. So we've seen one of these, and this is the, the, other, the other design. We saw this as a green sea turtle as well. Let's see 
here. There she is. So this girl is rose gold plated. And she's got two yellow heart backers. I know some people really don't mind the, the backers being in the same colors and stuff, but I just, it makes me so happy to match them together. Okay, hey guys, so we are on box number three. Um, sorry about the change of lighting, I had to charge the cameras, it's a bit later now. Uh, but hopefully you'll be able to see my face without the, you know, uh, white blob kind of covering me. <laughs> so our first design in box number one, no, box number three, is... The Rosy Narwhal. Let's see here. And look at that. This is the Rosy Narwhal. She is gold plated and she has two pink heartbackers. I forgot to say earlier, but you might have uh, already spotted, but all of the pins have um, an Eevee Benita back stamp as well. There we go. I really, I really like how she turned out. I think these would be great as kind of those collar pieces I was talking about earlier with the chain kind of connected. Ah, oh, let's see. And now the same design, but in the icy edition. Can you see them? Yeah. I love unboxing pins. I'm having so much fun with this. <laughs> let's see. I hope you guys are on board. Ooh, the back is coming off. Go. So this is this guy again, and he's got the teal backers that the icy narwhals have, and he is silver plated. Next up, the smiley hammerhead. So we've seen the other two smiley sharks now. Now it's the hammerhead time. Silver plating. And the happy smile, and he's got some teeth as well. Go. Got some more clownfish. So these are the original clownfish that were part of the Kickstarter. There. Now the clownfish have a orange heartbacker. And they're gold plated. So the black and white ones are silver plated and the orange black and white ones are gold plated. Yes, the final clownfish. So we've seen all of these now. These are the final ones. There she is. Hello. <laughs> Happy fishy. And uh, again, Orange heartbacker. Uh, so, we got a flapjack octopus up next. And this guy's got a little starfish on him, which isn't really that realistic because I don't think starfish live down there where he lives. Ah, oh, look at him. So, the flapjack octopus is gold plated and has a coral orangey uh, heartbacker. So uh, all the flapjack octopuses are in a similar color palette, but they, they have slightly different hues. So these are the yellow ones. There we are. Oh, what a cutie. I love how happy this one looks. And again, a uh, coral heartbacker. And the final flapjack octopus. Kind of a, a curious one. Hello. I, I, I love the Dumbo octopus or any kind of umbrella op octopus. So the, the flapjack and the Dumbo, love them so much. I was really excited that these got funded. Um, super excited. And I want to find the Dumbos while we're watching, while we're looking at these. It looks like they're all the way at the bottom. Did we already look at one? Wait. We already looked at that one. I just went through all the boxes to check that uh, the other Dumbo octopus was actually there. I thought maybe they'd forgotten to include him in the box, but he was there. It's all good. Um, and you guys have already seen him. Ah, oh, so cute. 
So he has other Dumbo octopus friends. And this one, can you see it? There you go. The next one has more of a, I'd say a rosy lilac, a bit pink. He's actually quite matchy with the plushie in the back there. <laughs> and then the final one has more of a, a light pink. So these aren't coming out as vibrant as they are um, in, in real life, but I'll do some filming later and, and see if I can get some close-ups. Next up, we're getting to the, the last stuff in the box, guys. Next up is the Sabay Anemone. Can you see her? So this one, uh, she is a seconds pin. I don't know if you guys can see it, but she's got some dark spots in her... Um, it's kind of surrounding the, uh, the marks on her face. Anyways, oh, she looks great. And she has a purple uh, pin back. Uh, let's see, next up. Did we already look at the hammerhead shark? I mean, I know we saw some of them. I think we already looked at these, but just in case we didn't, I will show you again. Here he is, all happy. I'm alive! <laughs> now, uh, there were three really popular designs from the sidekicks in this campaign. It was the um, rainbow plated mantis shrimp that we saw earlier. It was the... Um, oh goodness, I'm forgetting. Oh yes, of course. The rainbow plated uh, Eurona funebris nudibank. And it was the silver plated butterfly ray. There she is, our butterfly ray. She's got hearts and all the rays have star, black star backers. Let's do the other rays. Ah, the polka dot ray was quite popular as well. Here we go. Again, Two star heartbackers, no, two star backers. Black. And finally, we got the cow nose ray. I just love how, you know, when you're, if you're visiting an aquarium or something like that, and you see a cow nose ray kind of swim past, and it just looks like it's smiling with such a happy smile. And these only needed one um, heartbacker. No, starbacker, apparently. There we are. Okay, we have a couple of more narwhals. So this is a rosy one. So these guys have pink heartbackers. Ah, so nice. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, Love the rosy narwhal, how she turned out. Awesome, awesome colors. <laughs> Next up, we have the same design, but in the classic palette, which is all uh, monochrome. Come a bit closer. And he has black heart backers, like the other narwhal we saw. Cutie! Um, okay, so next up we have the uh, Hawksbill Sea Turtles. Uh, the only ones that we kind of have left to look at and, um, and the same with the green sea turtle. So these are the uh, sea turtle variants we haven't seen yet. So if we start, if we start with the green ones, Ooh. Oh, what a happy boy! <laughs> and he's got one uh, heart backer, no heart backer, rubber backer, green. And we have the rose gold plated uh, hawksbill sea turtle. Hey, 
Yay! The last uh, narwhal that we haven't seen. I think we've seen both the rosy. <laughs> and there you go. So I think these narwhals would be really great for putting um, kind of in a set like that. And I'll have a little chain kind of connecting them. So if you if you saw my um, one of my last Kickstarters, the Cosmic Sea one, um, I had a whale shark set that was like that. So they're connected by a chain, uh, but it's detachable so that you can wear it kind of like that. So that would be quite cute. I didn't realize, but we haven't looked at the sea ponies. So, um, Rosie Sea Pony. And Icy Sea Pony. Let's have a look at the rosy one. You see her? It was very uh, difficult finding reference images for sea ponies because all I could get when I searched for it were uh, My Little Pony images. But, <laughs> uh, but sea ponies are you know, types of seahorses. Teeny tiny. And there we go, the icy edition. Ah, oh, look at those colors. Wow. We got the teal heartbacker. Ah. Oh. Okay, a great white we haven't seen yet. See here. <sighs> look at him. Oh, so nice and calm. What a sweetie. <laughs> okay, and now we only have four designs left and those four are the sea apples and the sea anemones. So let's do the sea anemones first. This is a Venus flytrap anemone, the blue edition. Very, very lovely. And again, the same design, but in a pink version. Go. This is the pink Venus flytrap anemone. Sea apple number one. With these uh, sea apple and anemone ones, I actually tried out the kind of standard um, cyan magenta and uh, kind of lilac colors that Pantone have. So if we look at, um, let me find the other sea apple first. Where did it run off to? Okay, here we go. This one will be a better example of it. So this is the green uh, sea apple. Okay, so let's have a look at these. So these are the sea apples. Voila. So, the yellow sea apple, rosy sea apple, has a pink heartbacker. And the teal sea apple, and the teal sea apple has a teal heart. So, for these, I actually tested out the, the sort of, I don't want to say primary colors, but the, the kind of defect, defect. So, for these, I actually tested out the default uh, Pantone color palette. So, you have, you know, you have... Uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, green. Good job, Evie, you thought of all the colors. <laughs> so this is the default yellow. Ooh. And this one also uses the default yellow. It uses the default green and the default magenta and the default blue. So if you, you know, if you're looking for color swatch pins, then, <laughs> you know, certainly go for this one. Um, but yeah, so guys, that is everything I had for this video. Um, I'm going to... So thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing video. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. Is there anything you think I could have done better? Um, did you pledge for any of these pins or pre-order? Which ones did you get or which ones would you have gotten? Um, and yeah, anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun. Uh, it feels great unboxing pins, really fun. So yeah, um, 
I will see you guys in the next video. Next time, we'll probably be unboxing the mermaids that go with these. Uh, so until then, I'll see you guys. Bye.